purse, disgusting with do for a purse, disgusting with do for the clout. I'm one of the realest, the real ones can bounce. They thought I was done, but all I got, you gotta pay money. Salute when you see me. Put in the car to the my runner and get to you speedy. Still thugging like the days when they weren't here in my CD. Made it out of the trenches. Just salute when you see me. Yeah, salute when you see me. I'm getting greedy, I blow the whole budget on me, that's on me. I'm treaty, nah, that ain't how we treat it. This right here sound like a three-peat. I put the... EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. It's certainly hot outside here in the desert, but somehow this Cardinal crowd turned up the heat a moment ago. They were in a frenzy as their team emerged from the tunnel, and the Cardinals, they're set to do battle with Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. Touchback. <laughs> On first and ten, Prescott. He'll get this out wide here to Elliott. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And the Cardinals have got it. Going the other way. And he is going to bring this back inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. Not only a fumble loss there, but a fumble lost on your first drive in your own territory. Now you're dealing with a lot of stuff here because you feel bad going off the field because you gave up the football. How does your own defense feel now having to go out there and stop them when the momentum has clearly shifted in their favor? Opening minute and already a trip to the red zone. They have a first and ten at the 18. Following that fumble recovery, it's Murray. And it's caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. Murray with a touchdown throw to DeAndre Hopkins. And the Cardinals have taken the early lead. That's how you take advantage of an early turnover. A sudden change situation, meaning ball's turned over. How's both sides going to handle it? One side handled it way better. They went right out on the field and put the ball in the end zone. One play, that just added insult to injury. Yeah, that just tells you on the defensive side, they didn't come out ready to go. Still reeling from the fact that the ball got turned over. Crater for the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Pollard elects to keep it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense, but when you turn it over, it changes momentum, and when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. The give is to Elliott. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. That's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. Heavy set out there on third and one. They'll try to 
on the right side with Elliott. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Well, partner, none of these runs individually have added up to a whole lot. Now three plays, all three short runs, but together a first down. Yeah, it's amazing how the narrative changes when you string them together. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly. And that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Meanwhile, Dax throw taken in by Cooper here. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 40. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Dak dropping this one off for Zeke. That catch, good for only a couple. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn upfield and gain any yardage. Eight yards to go on second down. Now back to the ground with Elliott. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. He's already put it on the ground once in this first half. There no gain, just struggling to get going. Yeah, and what he needs right now, a dose of confidence, which means his guys have to chop a hole a big one for him, give him a chance to run a little bit and gain some of that confidence back. He didn't get it on that carry. That one complete, Elliott. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger gain. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Meanwhile, this one knocked down in the backfield. It's incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Again to Elliott. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Calling no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. The cards go in nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott sliding out of the pocket. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Isaiah Simmons picking it off. And the Cardinals are going to have the football at their own one-yard line. What a start defensively. Your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up 7-zip, you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. When they took the shot downfield, they were more than prepared for that one. After the turnover, here's Murray. And Kyler Murray cannot go away. They drag him down to the end zone for two points. And you know, the man who sat in my chair the last few years, he has a theory. These plays, these safeties, they're so rare. Maybe they should be worth more than two. 
to maybe four points. I think he's got a great point. I really do, Brandon. But I would go ahead and up it to six. I'm a former defender. Oh, yeah. To me, that's like scoring a touchdown. Easy now. I'll go four. I don't know about six. Come on, come on. Come up to six. <laughs> a lot of points. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but... And that is caught one-handed. Oh, my, he pulled it in. A big play here for Dallas. Tell the truth, partner. You didn't think he was coming down with that one, did you? Come on, tell me the truth. <laughs> no, I did. I'll tell you what, though. A one-handed grab of that length. Talk about giving your team a little juice. Oh, big time. I mean, everyone's going to be excited about that one, whether you're on the field or not. It permeates his way through the entire team, and I can't wait to see what they do on the next down. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. The last drive, remember, similar situation. He forced a ball into coverage through the pick. He learned better there. Yeah, similar to a golfer that's confronted with a shot that you just can't make. Sometimes you have to take your medicine, as they say, right? Just pull it down, take off, and go. Don't make something worse than what it was. A first opportunity in the red zone for the Cowboys. They've got a first and 10 at the 11. Get it down to the seven. He'll get four yards of the carry there, and we will get to the end of the first quarter play. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. Second and six with the ball on the seven. Off the play fake, Prescott. Caught on the slant. That catch good for five. It's third down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. The Cowboys on third down. They've been okay two for three thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Ball starts going to push him back, but these days, how hard must it be to be an offensive lineman? It's very hard, Brandon. You've got defensive linemen flinching, trying to draw you offside. You've got the loud crowds, and there are just so many super athletic players on defense now that you have to deal with each week. But through it all, these guys just sit in there for four quarters and slug it out. Well, that's a tough, costly penalty, because now it makes it third and six after the fall start. Toss right. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. So now Dak Prescott off. Greg Zerline on for the field goal. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And Zerline's kick is good. So add three, uh, all told, after the safety, it's a five-point swing. That could have turned out much worse. Well, you don't want to say no harm, no foul, but I do believe you're right. A nine-point swing hurts. Five points, much more manageable, especially in a tight game like this. Half of the main field goal, Zerline back out there now to send this one away. Williams now on the return. And he'll be out of bounds here just past the 20-yard line. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And last time they surrendered the safety, we know they don't want to do that again. That is just one of those oddities in scoring that we get. And it's just so strange to see that go up on the board. And then you've got to make sure that that doesn't happen to your team again. They've got to take care of the ball. But boy, it juices up the defense. Oh, without a doubt. That's a great way to score some points. On second and 11 now. Murray. 
This ball tipped, and it's going to be incomplete. Fortunate maybe to get that back. It's third down. You could tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. And on third down, the Cowboys bring in an extra defensive back. Now Murray. And complete to Zach Ertz. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's good for a Cardinals first down. First and 10 at the 37 yard line. On first and 10, here's Murray. They'll get this complete to Rondell Moore. Now he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. So as they take it over, we step aside. So first and 10 now from the 30. On first and 10 is counter, and he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. On second and 11 now, Murray. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. The partner, they're locked in man coverage out left and they end up running a crossing route. Rounded it a little bit more than a slant. And he's just got to angle himself towards the right side of the field, and that's very difficult for a defender to shadow him across all that ground. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Here's Murray to Connor on the check down. And here he'll get it down to the seven. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll bring up second down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Second down, Murray, and this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Kelvin Joseph, and the Cowboys are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points. No matter what, at worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. 
Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get to... Oh, Prescott stripped. And this is going to get out of bounds. So they will gain a bit of yardage on the play, actually. And they'll hold on to the football as well. I don't know about you, but I could hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession, no turnover. <laughs> I know his coaches are screaming, just hang on to the ball, man. To throw again on second down. Prescott able to hit his target, Lamb. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. We didn't need to ask around the league, but we got to confirm this guy's a good player. They've got to find a way to get him more involved, call a few more plays that target him. Absolutely, because here we are toward the end of the first half, and that's the first target, not just the first catch, first target. Play action now. Prescott rolling to his right. A dump off to Elliott. Yeah, he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you've got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. On second down, it's Pollard. It'll be a gain of two on the play, but they'll remain a few inches short here with third down looming. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. And running with power here. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. They'll run on first down. It's Elliott, and the running lane's not existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Looking to throw, Prescott. To the left side and complete for Amari Cooper. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 23. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. He hit his first, this one from 40 yards out. Zerline's kick is up and through. And with that, they'll take a one-point lead here in the second. So the turnover leads to points as they add three there. Yeah, what a sequence there and a nice one for them. They force the interception, put together a little drop, and they come away with three points. Nothing to it, partner. Just do it. Fielded just outside the goal line. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Both teams finishing up their halftime adjustments. We're about ready to get back to football at State Farm Stadium. And for the call, let's head back out to Glendale and hand it over to Brandon God. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. It'll be the Cardinals who get the ball first. They trail here as we resume action in the third quarter. This fielded right at the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20.
ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. It's been a tight game to this point. What do they need to do, Charles, to break through in the second half and take the lead? Well, I think the first thing they need to do is thank their defense for keeping them in this game. You know, I think the defense is saying back to them, why don't you guys focus on getting some first downs, put some drives together, give us a little bit of a break here. If we can get some rest, we'll play even better for you. And oh, by the way, pay off a few of those drives with some points too. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Throwing now is Murray. Going deep for Hopkins. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. Murray going to throw. He'll get that one complete to Connor. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. Oh, that's a big let off there on third down because you've got to count for the running back coming out of the backfield. They didn't, and they got burned, not just for a first down, but for big yardage as well. First down, Murray. This one complete to Christian Kirk. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 38. To throw is Murray. Caught by the tight end Ertz. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Murray now on first down. A oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. And now a timeout called by the Cowboys defense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Now Murray again. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's green. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 13-yard line. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. To throw on second and six, Murray flush to his right. Open man green. He's got it. Touchdown, Arizona. A nine-yard touchdown there, and the Cardinals have retaken the lead. 
A sensational one-handed grab of the end zone for the score. Looked like you at the Davis Turkey Bowl every year in the backyard in Orlando, Florida. Oh, you're so kind. That's definitely in my mind. But how about this? They always tell guys going after the ball, the receivers especially, you got to have a single-minded obsession to go get it. How about going up with a single hand and making that happen? I don't know if it gets much better than what we just saw there. Cliff Kingsbury going to decide here to leave the offense out and go for two. It appears they're going to throw for it with Murray. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Leighton Van Der Esch. And the Cards are going to have the football at their own one-yard line. It's interesting that when it comes to two-point conversions, even heavy run teams tend to throw the ball in these situations. In this case, this one was intercepted. And they were fooled. They were ready for the pass. Picked it off. This one will come out to the 25 as Pollard is going to elect not to return it. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they'll be working from behind now following the touchdown a moment ago on the opening drive of the half. I think the guys right now, as they go out on offense, they're zeroing in on one big key. They don't have to do anything differently just because they're down on the scoreboard now. The intent, still the same in what they plan to do on offense. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. He's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. And I see an extra defensive back on the field. A little surprise here in third and one. Throwing. Prescott. Buying time to his left. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. So here's a first and ten at the 38. Prescott. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. So still 14 yards to go, second down. Play action. Prescott. And now look at this. Big game and a fumble. And the Cardinals have got it. Going the other way. Well, the tide definitely seems to be turning in this third quarter as this defense is able to knock the ball free and recover. And let's look at it this way. Their offense is right back out there who just got them the lead a few minutes ago. This has the potential to be a big swing in this game. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And they had to go a long way on their last drive to score the touchdown. This time, they get at least a little bit more of a cushion with field position. I have to think that with this field position, after what they did on the last drive, they might want to take a shot right now and try and cut down the length of the drive. They start with a give to Connor, and he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there, second down. Defensively, we always know that he is tough and run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, 
then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Now Murray off play action. Zach Ertz has it complete. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. are going to call another timeout. And that's going to leave them with just one timeout remaining still in the third quarter. We'll see if that comes back to haunt them. We'll be back. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Connor on the toss left side. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. Uh, he lost six there on the first down play. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Tough spot looking at second and 16 here after the big loss. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and 16. Keep firing. They go quickly here out to Moore. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard and it's second down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. Second and nine. Murray throwing the out route incomplete. That's Hopkins. And down inside the 15 he goes. These guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. It's caught at the one. Touchdown! James Conner from 13 yards out. And the Cardinals will extend their lead. See, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside. Who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. Pollard elects to keep it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. A 
about set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. The Cowboys on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and nine. He finds his target. It's Schultz. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First down, Prescott. Forced out to his left. Connects here with the tight end, Blake Jarwin. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple of scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks. And they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? So in the Cardinal territory now, it's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Here's Elliott. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. But bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them, so they keep handing it to him. Now here's a throw that's complete. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. A first down carry by Elliott. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Elliott going to get it again on second down. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. fourth down so trailing here in the last quarter let's see how this plays out desperation time Prescott on fourth and it's intercepted at the goal line 
picked by Deontay Thompson. And the Cardinals are going to take over at their own two-yard line. For this defense, CD, that's kind of the icing on the cake here as we get to the end of this one. And didn't you feel that they weren't just going into total prevent there? You know, they had the lead, and sometimes you fall back and you lose your aggressiveness. Not in this case. They were still making a play on the football, and look how that one turned out. They may have salted this one away. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And barring mistakes, they should be able to kneel this one out and finish it off. And there's only one timeout remaining on the defensive side of the ball, so that doesn't really come into play either. Murray's going to look to throw this thing. He'll get this to Connor underneath. And he'll take this one up to about the six-yard line. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. the gun Murray and this will be swung out here for Connor and able to get this one out just shy of the 25 at the 24 but when you're up by two scores in the fourth quarter and you're going to throw the football expect to see a lot of man coverage because usually what comes along with man coverage is pressure so if you're a play caller and you want to keep throwing the football that's fine just make sure your offensive line understands they're going to get additional guys running at the quarterback Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Down to a knee. Here's the Cardinals look to let the clock roll. Down to an ego's Murray as that will just about wrap this thing up. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about <laughs> doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. So it's a win here for the Arizona Cardinals. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out.
again up in the...